My people, what's going on? I've been plagiarized! This is a crime going on here. Here's the story. Jeremy Lin has been going off for the New York Knicks. He's been blowing up. He's the biggest story in the sports world right now. So this girl from Florida State, who looks pretty good by the way, she makes a video for Jeremy Lin and she calls him the wrong name. She calls him Jerry Lin. She thinks he plays for the New York Giants and she thinks he's a black guy. <laughs> All right, her video blows up. So I write a blog about it. I work for a sports talk radio station in Albany, New York. 104.5 The Team ESPN Radio. On our website, we post blogs. 1045theteam.com. It's picked up by Google traffic. Anybody in the world can see them. So I write this blog. Here's the title of it. Jeremy Lin has taken the sports world by storm. Lin's sanity is sweeping the nation right now. However, not everybody is aware of Jeremy Lin, aka Jerry Lin of the New York Giants. Yikes. I randomly come across this video by Kekalusa or Kakalusa. And on his YouTube information thing, his description, it's the same thing as my blog headline. And also in the video, it's filled with stuff that is word for word from my blog. All right, now here's my blog. Bear with me, just a couple of paragraphs. Wow, this sorority girl gives females who actually know what's going on in the sports world a bad name. Jerry Lynn, New York Giants, black guy, huh? Not only was this girl 0 for 3, she was a painful 0 for 3. She was a not even close 0 for 3. She was a what have you been smoking 0 for 3. A lot of questions come to mind. Why wouldn't you Google Jeremy Lynn? Why wouldn't you familiarize yourself with Jeremy Lynn? the New York Knicks point guard, who is Asian American, before making a video for everybody to see. Why not look at the Knicks schedule to see if Jeremy Lin would be free to attend a sorority formal? Yeesh. I don't know what it is, but it's always entertaining to watch people display their ignorance. Thank you, sorority girl, who is easy on the eyes, but painful on the brain and eardrums. Now, at the end of this video, there will be a link to Kekalusa's video, which is a blatant ripoff. I mean, Blatant. There is stuff that is word for word. The whole thing about, what was it, the uh, painful on the brain and the eardrums? Yeah, word for word. Now you might think, which came first? Was it my blog or was it his video? On the back end of our website, it shows the time stuff was auto-saved. I started the blog on February 16th, finished it up at 9.22 in the morning on the 17th. Now if you look at this guy, Kakalusa, Kakalusa, whatever. He has his blog later that day on February 17th. At least you know, his was posted on the 17th, mine was started on the 16th. And I'll say this, Mr. Kekalusa, if he takes a little snapshot on the back end of his YouTube page, it will have the time posted. Guaranteed! It's after 9.22 Eastern Time in the AM. And get this, his video ends up on Taiwanese news. <laughs> Somebody sent him a video saying, hey man, your video made the news here. So in my mind, I'm a star in Taiwan. Sure, it took Kekalusa ripping this off, but I'm big in Taiwan, baby. And really, I'm not even mad about this. I find it funny. They say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That's true. At least this guy saw my stuff and said, ah, it's pretty good. I'll rip it off word for word. <laughs> I mean, mostly that's kind of flattering. But on the other side, it's like, dude, come up with your own stuff. This guy has got to be smart enough and creative enough to come up with something on his own. You can even see in his video, he's looking down. He's like, all right, um, it was a what have you been smoking over for three? Um, uh, it's always fun to watch people display their ignorance. Um, uh, easy on the eyes, but painful on the brain and eardrums. Dude, word for word, come up with your own stuff. That's all I gotta say. Not mad at you. It's all right. Come up with your own stuff, Mr. Kekalusa. But let me know what you guys think. Comment below. I'm Brian Now, and that's a non-plagiarized no-brainer.